Okay, so here are the answers for that one. So here we're talking about animals and their classes. Uh, a class is just a way of categorizing animals. And they kind of make sense. Ant is part of the class Insecta, Eagles, it's part of the class Aves, Snakes, Reptilia, Turtles, Reptilia, Whales, Mammalia. And they just want us to represent this in different ways other than the table. So describe this relation in words. Well, animals are associated with the classes they are in. An association would be, is a member of the class. So represent this as a set of ordered pairs. Well, there it is. And as an arrow diagram here. Remember, I always illustrate the association by drawing a directional arrow and is a member of the class. Once again, it's important to make sure that we have them in the right order. It makes sense that ant is a member of the class insecta and not the other way around. We can't say insecta is a member of the class ant. Okay. Uh, so here's a similar type of question, but this time they're going to ask us to interpret this graph. So this is a bar graph. This is another way of representing relations, because this is what we're leading to eventually, where we're building on, on this stuff to eventually start graphing functions. Uh, so, so here we have a bar graph, and this represents uh, breeds of dogs here and up here we have mean height so different breeds of dogs can be associated with their mean heights consider the relation represented by this graph so they want us to represent this relation as a table okay well we have one two three four five six breeds of dog and each breed of dog is only associated with one mean height which makes things kind of easier so we're only going to have six associations. So I need to make sure that I have six spaces for my table. In fact, I should have seven so I can put the titles up there, but I'm just going to write them on the very top. So we're going to have breeds here and height here. Because our association is um, an Afghan hound has a mean height of and then whatever the height is. So we have to make sure that we put the breed first. So, uh, Afghan Hound, I'll read that as A-H, Chihuahua, Corgi, Golden Retriever, German Shepherd, and Malibute. Good. Uh, now I need to associate those with the heights. So, uh, Afghan Hound has a height of... Now remember, that even though we're jumping by 20 centimeters, uh, between 20 and 10 we have... or 20 and 0 we have 10... Uh, between 40 and 20 we have 30, here we have 50, and here we have 70. So this is between 70 and 80, so this is going to be, we'll call that 75 centimeters, and I should designate that here, that it's centimeters. Good. And Chihuahua is 20, the Corgi is 30, the Golden Retriever is 60, German Shepherd is 60, and the Malamute is 65. And that's it for the table. We're just demonstrating these associations, which we have visually in a bar graph, by writing the associations in a table like this. And we can call this, when we start dealing with graphing, we'll be calling this a table of values. All right, now, as an arrow diagram. Again, uh, when drawing arrow diagrams, we're always using ovals. So I'll duplicate my oval here. And we always want to visualize or we always want to illustrate, rather, the association. So the association here is, uh, we can say an Afghan hound has a mean height of. So we're going to say has a mean height. And I'll say that that's centimeters. Uh, and here we go. So on the left, I'm going to have the breeds. On the right, I'm going to have the heights. I'm going to write the breeds in here in alphabetical order. So, Afghan Hound, Chihuahua, Corgi, Golden Retriever, German Shepherd, and Malamute. And on the right here, I'm going to write the heights. Now, we like to write, by convention, we like to write the heights in numerical order. Again, it's not hugely important, but uh, because that's the way it's supposed to be done, that's the way I'll do it. So, 20, 30, 60. Now, even though we have 60 twice, we're only going to write it once in the arrow diagram. Because again, even though 60 associates with two different dogs, we're going to show that by, with arrows, not by writing it twice. So then I have 65 and 75. 
and now it's just a matter of drawing in my arrows. So, uh, the Afghan Hound is 75 centimeters, Chihuahua is 20, Corgi is 30, the Golden Retriever and the German Shepherd are both 60, and the Malamute is 65. All right, so I'm gonna ask you to pause the video again. Uh, on your handout, you have this question. Now I'm gonna ask you to do this question on your own uh, and then come back and we'll go through the answers together. Okay, so this is a similar question, but instead of talking about breeds of dogs and heights, we're talking about travel time to Vancouver from these towns. So from Horseshoe Bay, Lillooet, Pemberton, Squamish, and Whistler. To represent this as a table, there you are. And as an arrow diagram is right here. So don't forget that we always like to, to illustrate the association where we're using arrow diagrams. In this case, the association is average travel time to Vancouver. Okay, so pause the video one more time. Now uh, you have this in your notes or in your handout as well. So do this one. In this case, they've given you a relation, but they haven't given you sets of data. So we don't have any sets of elements here. You're going to have to fill those in yourself. So the first question asks to describe the relation in words. That's pretty simple. They kind of give it to you. And then the second one is to come up with two ordered pairs that belong to this relation. So give that a try and then come back and we'll go through it together. All right. So. Describe the relation in words. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. We can say that uh, English words or the number of letters in English words. There's two order pairs that belong to the relation. Uh, it could be really any any word because they haven't specified which words we're talking about. They're just talking about English words has this number of letters uh, and then natural numbers. So I'll pick any word. I'll, uh, just something random like uh, dubstep, let's say. So dubstep has, that's the English word. Now we need to know how many letters it has. Well, it has seven. So I'm going to write that over here. Again, it's important that we write dubstep first because that's the direction of the association. English word, so dubstep has this number of letters, seven. And not the other way around. All right, so another random word, I'll just pick uh, awful, and that has five letters. And I always end my list of ordered pairs with, with my brackets. And that's it. So that's the end of our first flip classroom video. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll do the, uh, the homework of the practice work.